Hi, this is Jason from Effective Dashboards. Welcome to the next video. In this video, I'm going to show you two methods for adding tooltips to specific visuals to add additional information that will help your user understand the contents of that visual. OK, so let's get started. So the first thing we do is we click on the visual that we're interested in. So I'm going to click on this one here that's got a list of work orders. And then we're going to go across to the format option. And we're going to scroll to the bottom here. And we're going to ignore this tooltip for just now. And we're going to go to this one here, visual header options. And we're going to open that up and we're going to scroll to the very bottom of here. And we've got an option called the visual header tooltip icon. So I'm going to click that on. And what we will see is that there's now a question mark here. Okay, so that question mark is the is going to be the tooltip. Then there's a new option appeared under here called Visual Header Tooltip. And there's an option to either choose a report page or none. So to begin with, we're going to choose none. And in here, I'm going to type in a definition of the formula that is used to calculate this backlog work order count. OK, so I've added that in. And now it's really simple. You just go across here and if you hover across, we can see there's a definition. Keep your definition, number of work orders, a little typo there, but number of work orders where the target finish date is before today. So this is a really, really helpful tooltip that allows the users often who are not 100% sure what the definition is behind some of the, the KPRs that are displayed. This allows you to let them see that straight away for that particular visual. So a really, really handy option. The next option we've got is to display an actual page. So to do that, if I click on this drill through here, and we've got two bar charts at the top here. So this one here has got a list of work order status codes. Now there's quite a few of these and the, the, the definitions, if you're not used to being in amongst this report and looking at what the, the definitions are, we really want to give people some that, that definition when they need it, which is when they're looking at the actual graph. So at the point of need is, is really what we're talking about here. So we don't want somebody to have to go and open up a, another system to go and look at that information. We want it to be there, ready for them to just absorb and consume straight away. So to do that, we're going to go back to our format option here. And we're going to go right to the very bottom. And we are going to, well, before we do this, I'm just going to explain that I did create a new page here. So I've created a table and I have exported that table. I just created it in PowerPoint and I've exported the table as an image and I've imported that image into this page here. Now, the one thing you do need to make sure you've done on this page is if you go to format and click on page information is make sure you've, t you've checked this tooltip option here. And that will mean that this page will appear as a tooltip. The other thing I've done is if you click on and make sure you've highlighted the page is I've changed the page size. So down here you can go on page size and there's various different options for different ratios and there is actually a tooltip, but it's a bit small for our requirement just now. So you can click on custom and then you can just enter the custom size so that it better fits the, the image that you've actually exported. So I've done those two things. I've created that page. And now when I go back into the work order details screen here, I'm going to click on this visual and I'm going to go back to format. Go to the bottom here, ignore that tooltip for just now. I'm going to go into this visual header, scroll to the bottom, and we're going to switch on the visual header tooltip icon. And in this example here, this additional option becomes available. So you've got to really just keep on scrolling down. It's kind of hidden away, really. Now, in here, we're going to choose a report page. So before we had none, and our tooltip there was just some text. That was in the previous example. This one here, we're going to actually choose a page. So in this list here, you will see all of the pages that you've got where you've ticked or you've you've um, toggled that tooltip. Uh, I think it was just the, the, the option to indicate the page can be used as a tooltip. So we'll use that. We don't need any text. 
And now if we hover the cost here, we can see we've got a nice little definition of what each of the status codes are. And we can do that for this visual as well. We can actually put in the definition of the different work types. And that will just present the user or the person that's consuming the dashboard with some information should they should they need it. So we want to see well, what does what does this mean? Over here, W plan, work orders waiting for planning. Okay, so hopefully this is going to add an extra layer of help to your dashboard, an extra layer of interaction to make it really easy for somebody to pick up the dashboard and start using it and um, and reduce the number of times people have got to call you to ask for, for help. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. That would be much appreciated. And if you want to keep up to date with my latest releases, I tend to release a video every week, then hit the subscribe button and check on the bell. And I will talk to you in the next video.